Well, hello, it's Dr. Rich. I'm coming to you live from Denver International Airport. I am in the Mile High City today to proctor a surgeon who's committed to learning excellent technique in robotic excision of endometriosis. And it got me thinking, you know, a lot of patients probably don't know there's a, a spectrum of skill sets as it relates to OB-GYN surgeons and resecting uh, this painful disease. And for those patients who suffer with endometriosis, uh, they want, need, and deserve the best possible treatment care. The average OBGYN in a training program isn't taught advanced resection of endometriosis. That's not part of the curriculum that needs to be satisfied to graduate. And many surgeons actually just perform an ablation or a burning technique, which frankly is uh, inferior to actual surgical resection of the lesions. Now, you know, it's a technique that the surgeons are doing the best they can in that circumstance. Uh, but patients have to understand and know and deserve to know that there are alternatives. Uh, there are surgeons who have sought to become excellent in this surgical management strategy, either through uh, postgraduate proctorships like this one I'm doing today uh, to train a surgeon, uh, or having advanced fellowship training uh, where they spend one to several years specifically learning how to perform the surgery and to completely resect the disease from the pelvis. So how would you as a consumer, how would a patient have any idea uh, what their surgeon is and can be capable of? And I would suggest that you probably want to ask three questions. So one would be, do you do ablation or do you do resection? Do you actually uh, go in surgically and remove the disease or you just take energy and try to you know buzz the disease which uh, can provide some improvement but is certainly uh, an inferior treatment modality if the surgeon is an ablation surgeon don't try to convince them to be a resection surgeon you just need to go and get another opinion with a doctor who does many of these cases which comes to the second question how many have you done um, the learning curve for robotic hysterectomy is 50 cases this is a harder type of surgery so i would say you know, definitely more than 50 cases of surgical experience in this arena. And the third question would be a currency requirement. How often do you do this? How big of a part of your practice is the surgical resection of endometriosis? And if it's, you know, a huge part of what they do, and they do resection, and they've done 50, 100, 1,000, 3,000 cases, then you're undoubtedly in good hands. Now, robotics, adding that element, adding the robotic surgeon, uh, surgery is, uh, I think, a bonus. There are many very skilled laparoscopic surgeons that don't use a robot, so it's not a must-have, but you definitely do see more lesions when you do robotics as opposed to laparoscopic. And in my experience, the ultimate result, the resection is better when you do the robotic technology. Um, but simply having a robot by itself, if you haven't fulfilled the prior three you know, prerequisites, um, isn't enough for someone to say, this is where I want to go to get my disease resected. So these are just thoughts I had for the day since I was out here uh, in Denver waiting for my flight. Hope that was helpful. And uh, we'll see you guys next time. Take care. Have a great day.